Today in Washington. I think, in respect to the issue to do with it, it, Iran, what, what I would say is this that it, the threat posed by Iran is real. There's no doubt about that. And it is a real threat. Tony Blair, the international negotiator for the Middle East on behalf of the United States, European Union, United Nations, and Russia, told lawmakers yesterday that the only viable option to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian dispute was a two-state solution. Speaking to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Blair said that while both sides are in favor of it, they doubt it can happen. Blair also said that resolving the Palestinian issue would increase chances of ending the Iranian nuclear dispute. He told the committee that in order to persuade Iran to abandon its nuclear drive, quote, we need the most support, the broadest alliance possible, he added. So I would say that is where the issue of how we build a credible negotiation to a two-state solution is actually an important part of dealing with that issue, not a separate issue altogether. According to U.S. officials, President Barack Obama is due to announce today that he will resume the heavily criticized military tribunal system for some suspected terrorists being held at Guantanamo Bay. Obama had suspended the tribunals within days of taking office in January, ordering a review of the system. However, officials say that the president never rejected the possibility of using the tribunals, if they could be made fairer. The updated system will include expanded due process rights for the suspects, ban evidence gained from cruel treatment, and limit the use of hearsay. The U.S. State Department said yesterday that Washington has not set any timeline for its engagement with Iran, playing down a report published earlier yesterday by the Wall Street Journal. At the same time, department spokesperson Ian Kelly told reporters that the U.S. would not allow talks with Iran on its nuclear program to carry on forever. Kelly said, quote, Let me just say that uh, we're not setting any, any new deadline. Uh, we're not, and we're not interested in, uh, uh, in, in setting any kind of uh, specific or even notional timeline. The Wall Street Journal reported yesterday that the U.S. and its European allies have set a target of early October to gauge progress on their engagement with Tehran. Officials said that they are also preparing specific benchmarks to measure Iran's behavior. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.